cars are rarely going to see the track so B roads are basically where they're going to live besides central London um, but on the B roads as we are right now unreal machine hello hello welcome to another video my name is George and today we've got this beautiful beautiful bumblebee spec Aston Martin Vantage this is a V8 version and as you can see it's tremendous the way it looks I mean the spec on this thing is quite literally bumblebee hence the name blacked out um, accents with obviously the yellow paint it's by far the nicest Vantage um, I have driven so far and um, basically the last one of this generation because the new Vantage was announced last week and this is going to be the last um, Vantage of this generation that I'm probably going to drive so today's drive is going to be literally a drive showing you guys how this car feels, handles and um, that is about it really I'm not going to go into much detail and um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the drive. But for now, I just wanna walk around and show you guys the state of this thing, the color, the wheels. Uh, as you can see, it's got 20 inches, 295 in the rear and uh, 20 inches, 255 in the front, uh, wrapped in uh, P0s. And uh, mate, these, this thing is unreal. Uh, really uh, cool thing about it is the fact that the wheels um, have texture on them as you can probably see like the wheel itself has a interesting texture and This basically makes it so you can't really see dust or anything on it, which is phenomenal and if I walk around um, I'll open the bonnet and of course I'll show you in the inside a little bit and to get in you just press on here and all the door pops the trim is unreal as you can see contrasting stitching on the leather because you got to match the outside and um, yeah as you can see standard Aston Martin Vantage interior and by standard I mean absolutely gorgeous so let me hop inside and here you go all the buttons to control various things in the infotainment system in here you got your park reverse neutral and drive this is how you start the car you press this button and that's it don't get back seats you don't get anything no glove box nothing you just you the wheel and jesus <laughs> but as i promised um let me open the bonnet for you guys so you can see the behemoth of the v8 engine that sits underneath this thing to open the bonnet, you gotta go on the passenger side of the car and under here, you will see a red latch. You just pull on it and then you can walk to the front of the car. And this is probably the point where I won't be able to find the latch, but it's somewhere in here. It's a latch. As expected, it took me forever to open the latch. However, this is what we are welcomed by. The beautiful AMG 4.4 litre V8 twin turbo setup, hand built in England. And um, yeah, this is how it looks with a clamshell setup. If you can call it a clamshell, it's not really, <laughs> it's just a bonnet. Um, yeah, it's it looks so good with a with a hood open, the bonnet open. Yeah, it's a tremendous car. And um, yeah, as you can also see, the engine sits very far back behind the um, front wheels making this a front mounted well front mid mounted engine that's why it handles really well and that's why i love it so much because it's a true true sports car so without further ado let's uh take this baby for a drive this is a v8 model and it's rear wheel drive automatic gearbox and it's a lot of fun and why is it a lot of fun you may ask well listen to this That to me sounds like a lot of fun. The way you attack corners in this thing, it's unbelievable. What a machine. What a machine. 
not going to be doing too much talking and telling you about the car because it's irrelevant. I just want you guys to listen to it and enjoy the drive alongside myself. And that's about it, really. This car is the smallest Aston Martin you can get and the cheapest one. If a cheap Aston Martin exists, this is the one. <laughs> and honestly, it's a lot. It looks incredible, it drives incredible. I mean, it's just such a good piece of machinery, this. Hugs the corners like nothing you've seen. Agile, carry speeds that you are basically shocked by and it's just overall such a fun toy for the B-Road. These cars are rarely going to see the track so B-Roads are basically where they're going to live besides central London um, but on the B-Roads as we are right now unreal machine. Hope you can uh, hear the uh, drama that's happening behind me because there's a lot of it what a fantastic piece of kit and this my friends is the main problem with this car catching up to traffic very quickly Alright, looks like the roll has cleared up, so I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy the drama of this machine. As I mentioned, you do catch up to traffic very quickly in this thing, and that's the biggest downside of it. But besides that, honestly, if you're thinking of an Aston Martin and you want something fun, I can't recommend the Vantage enough. The V8 Vantage is such a good platform to have fun in. And a used one, you know, a few years old, you can grab it for about 60, 70,000 pounds, which is a lot, a, lot, a lot of money, but you get a lot of car for that sort of money. So, yeah. You do with this uh, information as you wish. I'm gonna keep uh, enjoying this car while I've got it. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.